What is up everybody, Richard Moore here and I've got an awesome video for you guys today. Um, so let's get into it. Real quick guys, before we move forward with this video, I definitely wanna give a shout out to Gabe have not already subscribed to their channel i want to just thank them for giving me a guest post so yeah subscribe to the channel if you have not already and then also subscribe to my channel the link should be in the description below i've got a lot of great content for you guys so let's get straight into it Alrighty, so as the title suggests how to be an entrepreneur this question i've got asked a few times um and i've seen it a lot across the internet you know from forums to social media i've just seen it a lot it's more so in the line of i guess not how to be an entrepreneur but you know no no it, it, it really is it's how to be an entrepreneur how can i own my own business how can i become self-employed and be my own boss in light and to be extremely serious you know just to be extremely blunt like this isn't for the meek this isn't for the faint-hearted um this you know, it's being an entrepreneur is so glamorized by all the gurus and you know the people living lavish lifestyles, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. It's it's so overly glamorized that it makes everybody think and want to be one. You know, and not to say it's not awesome to be one, it's 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 it's, it's totally awesome to be able to wake up on your own dime, um, to do your own thing, to not really have to report to anybody you know and you know solely rely on yourself you know uh, you know i was never the end of type of individual who could you know be a part of a nine to five i just i just didn't like that mundane lifestyle don't get me wrong though that is totally fine for a lot of people and a lot of people thrive off of it so that's something i straight up want to say and tell people before they actually look into becoming an entrepreneur or to look to own their own business you know if you like what you're doing, you know, do it. If you are totally, like, if you're totally comfortable and totally okay with the whole waking up, going to a job, and then, you know, coming back home and having a certain amount of days off every week, having a certain amount of vacation every single, you know, year or whatever the case may, may be, it's totally fine. If, if that's cool with you, then you should do it. Now, if it's cool with you, like that whole lifestyle is cool with you, but your job sucks, then what I would say is go find something that you like. You know, go some, find something that fits that, you know, that whole entire paradigm and do that. You know, you everybody does not have to be an entrepreneur. It's, 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 <laughs> it's, you just don't, you don't. It's, it's a huge fad right now that everybody wants to just go out and be their own boss. And what people aren't realizing is that they need to stop trying to, follow the fad and just figure out what makes them happy if being an entrepreneur makes you happy go you know go strive to be an entrepreneur but if it doesn't if you would rather just find a great paying job that with great paying or great benefits and things like that then do that you know do what makes you happy find what makes you happy that is the goal but anyways uh, enough of my ranting how to be an entrepreneur like in reality there's in my opinion there's three things you need in order to be an entrepreneur. One, this is probably the most important thing. If you do not have this, you will not succeed in entrepreneurs. So one is mindset. And to break down mindset just a tad bit, it is, it is ability to be able to overcome any obstacle mentally. And whether that obstacle is yourself or something else that is you know blocking you from you know focusing on you know certain aspects or whatever to mentally overcome then that is you know that that's what it is but yeah so your mindset is the most important thing that you need to you know hone and you know really practice on in order to become an entrepreneur and to be successful at entrepreneurism so like if your if your mindset is isn't correct then you need to work on that so with your mindset things like looking at looking at money differently that's 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 something that your mindset needs to be changed in order to you know to do because we're taught that you know 
at least a lot of people are taught that money is the root of all evil blah 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 this that and the third but it's it's not it's really not you gotta also learn that you shouldn't work for your money your money should work for you things like that there's a lot of different little nuances with money etc cetera, etc cetera. but mindset is definitely definitely key number one i would say number two would be priority or focus if your priorities aren't in line if your focus isn't in line then you're gonna be everywhere you know now there's a journey to entrepreneur entrepreneurism so you know i'm not saying that being everywhere isn't good i mean i don't think it's good and i can't say it's bad because there's a journey with it but if you are everywhere it's definitely gonna you know delay your success and everything like that so if you can figure out what your priority is figure out what your focus is then that'll definitely you know alleviate the length that it will take for you to get to wherever you need to be so definitely priorities and definitely um focus you need to focus on your priorities i like that <laughs> finally number three this one is a, another big one it is your circle so like your personal relationships uh with your people you need to surround yourself by things you aspire to be or things you're inspired by have you ever heard the saying that you are the median of the closest five friends you surround yourself by so think of your close the closest people and they don't have to be friends just the closest people you surround yourself by what is their attitude towards life what is their their mindset what is their mental capacity how do they how do they view life how do how do they what is their lifestyle what are they doing are are they you know treating themselves or their body as as temples are they moving in a healthy manner like what are what is are they negative are they optimistic what are they if they're like negative and pessimistic and not being healthy and this this that and a third that's not something you want to surround yourself by you're literally going to become just the average of them and you don't want to be that if you want to be successful you need to have things that inspire you to get outside the box to to think from a different perspective of life therefore you have room to grow when you get uncomfortable you have room to grow the, the greatest saying is that you know uh, a flower doesn't grow in the shade it speaks volumes to um everything you know it just it really does or another great saying you know comfortability is a great place or a beautiful place to be but there's no place to grow in there so you know you got to get uncomfortable with things you know in order to to attain new things and get what you want in life so you definitely want to make sure that the people that you surround yourself by are you know inspiring you or you know you're inspired to y'all all are you know in an understanding to want to catapult yourselves to newer heights so that would be definitely um my number three for you know how to be an entrepreneur is just basically getting those three things together and once you get those three things together you can start figuring out what it is you want to do and there is a slew of things that you can do in order to be an entrepreneur you know um social media is an avenue you can become an influencer you can do youtube you can blog you can um do affiliate marketing you can you know do travel like being a travel agent things like that you can uh, do music <laughs> you can do it's, it's just a lot there's a lot out there you can do e-commerce it's, it's just so much out there the 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 digital world the online presence is almost limitless and people are coming up with new ideas and new things all the time so there is definitely a lot of stuff that you can do out there in order to you know get the ball rolling um what i would suggest people to do if they are looking to become an entrepreneur is one research 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 something that you enjoy because you really want to find something that not, not necessarily that you're passionate about but just something that you enjoy so i would definitely say research research some stuff if you know if e-commerce interests you you know you know dabble with that and you know if um being a youtuber or youtuber interests you dabble with that if being a social media influencer 
interests you, dabble with it. Dabble with anything that seems interesting and then whatever piques your interest, well not piques your interest, whatever sustains your interest, kind of move forward with that one. Um, I definitely <laughs> I definitely would not suggest do uh, people to do with uh, what I did, which is quit your job and then go try to be an entrepreneur. Don't do that. Don't do that. If you really don't, if you really hate your job and stuff like that, maybe go like part time or just find something, uh, find a job that's a little bit easier. Um, you're definitely gonna have to live a little bit low below, uh, live a little bit below your means if you're gonna do that or kind of go that route. But I highly suggest anybody if you got responsibilities, don't quit your job. <laughs> it was it it was and still it's kind of a bumpy ride to be doing this. But I mean, if you do it, if you are going to do it, just know that it's it's gonna be a rough ride. But if, you know, if I can catch you before you do it, don't do it. Don't do it. Just jump into a whole bunch of different stuff. See what you like. See what interests you. And then whatever sustains your interest, you keep running with that. And then, you know, when the time comes and you've learned the skill and everything like that, then you can actually, you know, you know, quit your job or whatever the case may be. But that's that's something you really want to do. You want to make sure you find something that sustains your interest and you become an expert in in that field of choice that you decide to, you know, pursue, because that's that's the goal when it comes to uh, successful entrepreneurship is to become an expert in whatever that field is so that you can you know turn around and start, you know, teaching or whatever or scaling, whatever you want to do. So that's that's something i would definitely tell people to do is research learn you know absorb and then become it you know it's just that simple it's just really that simple but um that's kind of like the basics of how to become an entrepreneur um there's it, it can go a lot deeper i could literally make this video like an hour long explaining all the little tidbits and you know tips and tricks mind tricks you know uh life tricks life hacks everything but that would be an extremely long video and i don't, I don't have time for that so if you guys want to see something that's a little bit more in depth with this type of video leave me a comment in the description below letting me know what you think about it and if you want to see something like that but other than that guys that's all i got for you today uh do me a favor like i said drop a comment in the comment section below let me know what you think etc etc uh subscribe to the channel also ring that notification bell so that this stuff gets to you first and then also give me a thumbs up share with the people i am trying to reach 100 subscribers i'm like almost halfway there and then after that you know i'm striving for the moon actually i am striving for like <laughs> the next galaxy and things like that i'm trying to reach a million subscribers so um uh, i'm not trying i'm going to reach a million subscribers so yeah that's definitely that but other than that guys it's richard moore hope you guys have a great weekend a great day peace